I'm Deborah Cedillo Dugan and welcome to another City Update. We are at Phoenix Sky Harbor Airport, one of the busiest airports in the country, in fact one of the top 10, and we're talking about spring travel here with Heather Listener. Heather is one of the spokespeople from Sky Harbor. It's great seeing you, Heather. Great to see you. So you have about 140,000 people coming in out of the doors, expectations for this March? Every day, yes. Oh my gosh, March. every day. Okay, now this is kicking off spring travel, spring break, spring vacation. We have Cactus League. I mean, give us some do's and don'ts and some tips on what people should know. Give yourselves plenty of time. Arrive early, especially after NASCAR, the second week in March. Give yourselves a minimum of two hours if you're flying domestic three hours if you're flying internationally, the more time the better. Excellent. Okay, so we have a lot of uh, tips here at the airport that people mm -hmm. can take advantage. Okay, we can use SkyTrain, yes. you can do the baggage. Talk about the baggage. I haven't used that yet, dropping off the baggage at way over at the parking lot. We have early bag checks. So if you're flying American Airlines, Southwest, or United, you can drop your bags off at East Economy before you park or at the 44th Street Station or at the rental car center. So at 44th Street and East Economy, you drop your bags before you hop on the Phoenix SkyTrain and within a matter of minutes, you're here at the terminal and you can go right to your gate and you can print your boarding pass out there as well. At the rental car center, after you drop off your rental car, you can check your bags, hop on the bus and again, come right to the gate. You can avoid that ticket counter line by using early bag check. Mm -hmm. It's free, though airline bag fees do apply. Okay, well that's excellent, especially when you're toting a lot of kids, if you're going, you know, to come here for some baseball games and whatnot. Mm -hmm. And the airport has changed so much, and it continues to change. You have lovely restaurants. In fact, we were just talking about, don't rush. Come here and maybe have lunch, maybe do some shopping. That's right. Get here early. We have fabulous restaurants, anything from Four Peaks to Lolo's Chicken and Waffles, Joe's Real Barbecue, you know, Tammy Co. Cakes. Um, if you love coffee, we have tons of coffee varieties. Get here early, enjoy a restaurant. You can go shopping. Uh, we have souvenirs you can buy for gifts for friends and family back home or an Arizona souvenir or unique gifts. And we also have the museum. So if you have extra time, you can check out exhibits. They're free. They rotate. You can find out more information about the museum on skyharbor.com. Okay, now we talked about, we, we've talked about some transportation. I mean, obviously there's light rail, there's SkyTrain, which is kind of a cool thing uh, that people can get to the airport. But what about people? picking up because obviously there's a cell phone lot so a lot of people still may not know about that in fact our photog Jason did not know about the cell phone lots. we have three free cell phone lots one on the east side of the airport one on the west side of the airport and one at the 44th Street and Washington Phoenix SkyTrain station you can wait in your car we have flight information displays that will tell you when the when your party is ready to be picked up now out at the 44th Street station this is really a best kept secret it's locals know where to go you can pick up and drop off right there. You avoid curb congestion and driving into the airport. So on our really busy days, you can avoid that traffic. You can pick up right there, drop your party off. They can hop aboard the Phoenix SkyTrain and within a matter of minutes, be right in the terminal. I love it. Okay, now I'm not gonna leave until we talk about your navigators and the people in the purple jackets because if you're traveling in Phoenix and you have a question, they're the people to ask. Our volunteer navigators, we have more than 400 of them. They are here to answer questions, provide directions, anything you need, you can approach them. They will greet you with a friendly smile. Um, they're in the purple jackets and they are happy to help you. Now, if you need more information or just some reminders on some do's and don'ts and tips on traveling, go to skyharbor.com. For City Update, I'm Deborah Cedillo-Dugan and happy traveling.